Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi, Delmi. Hi. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Samuel. Good evening. Hi, Katia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, great. Let's wait for your classmates. Bien, ya tengo a 12 estudiantes. Eso, muy bien. La puntualidad siempre. Perfecto. 12 estudiantes. Esperemos un par de minutos hasta que se lleguen las 8 y empezamos con todo, ¿ok? I can see Jansi en Nereida. Excellent. Excellent. Now I can see Carlos Manuel. Please, the recommendations. Siempre las mismas recomendaciones, ¿ok? Tengamos nuestra cámara encendida para tener una mejor interacción. Y de igual manera la participación. Siempre activamente, participación. Ok, eh, estamos ya a punto de finalizar semana número 3. Semana 3, que sería mañana, ¿verdad? Semana número 3, vamos muy rápido, nos queda simplemente eh, cubrir una actividad para finalizar eh, la sección número 4. Y la siguiente semana, pues nos vamos directamente ya a la sección número 5 y nuestro final exam. Ok. Let me check. Vamos a chequear cómo vamos con el avance. El avance de las actividades en plataforma. Sí recordarles que para mañana, mañana ya eh, al finalizar la clase o antes del viernes, sí chicos, tengamos ya listas todas las secciones de la eh, parte número 4 para que el viernes ya se puedan ingresar todas esas notas. Recuerden, en el chat nos hacen constantemente el recordatorio de estar activos en la plataforma. No olvidemos que la plataforma es 24-7. Eh, si es por eso, vamos nosotros revisando actividades de clases y luego ustedes pueden ya complementar el ejercicio que le continúa. ¿Ok? Vemos el tema en clase. Ustedes ya pueden igual complementar eh, el siguiente Knowledge Checked. Esa es la idea de las clases también, ¿ok? Más que todo reforzar lo que ustedes ya vieron en el video, aclarar dudas, si ustedes tienen preguntas o preguntas extras o de pronunciación, vocabulario, cualquier cosa. Para eso son las sesiones, ¿ok? Sí recordemos que la interacción en la plataforma es bien necesaria, súper necesaria. Eh, estoy viendo que sí, ya algunos tenemos completas sección 1, dos y tres. Recordemos que para mañana, sección número cuatro, número cuatro. El día viernes voy a estarles compartiendo en el chat de WhatsApp quiénes son los estudiantes que tenemos listos desde la sección uno hasta la sección número cuatro. Desde la sección uno hasta la cuatro, ¿ok? Sí me gustaría que estemos todos ahí, que los 27 que somos en este grupo estén ya listos con sección uno hasta la sección cuatro. Hasta este momento, en este grupo, solo tengo dos personas, dos estudiantes, que han finalizado totalmente sus actividades, desde la sección 1 hasta la 5 y el final exam, ¿ok? Solo dos personas. Las demás, vamos paso a paso con cada sección. Recordemos, eh, creo que en el chat, no sé si todos lo leyeron o no todos confirmaron de recibido, eh, se nos informa y se nos pide que necesitamos por lo menos el 80% de conexión en las clases. Cada minuto cuenta, créanme, cada minuto va siendo auditado cada día. ¿okay? Digamos, hoy me conecté 57 minutos, hoy me conecté los 60 minutos y así. De igual manera, en la plataforma, les explicaba, y ustedes también ya conocen muy bien la plataforma, hay diferentes secciones, ¿okay? diferentes eh, ejercicios que completar. Cada eso o cada ejercicio va sumando, va sumando y al final completa el 100%. Es necesario de igual manera tener por lo menos el 80%, pero ¿por qué no el 100%, 100 en cada sección? Dicho eso, eh, veamos quién tiene completa eh, sección 1, 2 y 3. Son, si son todos los estudiantes, solo eh, tal vez 
eh, Carmen Guadalupe, revisar la sección 3. Tal vez hizo falta algo, algún ejercicio que completar, porque no está el porcentaje completo. Veo también a Gerson, que en la sección 3 eh, no está el, el porcentaje del 100% completo, solo tiene un 25%. Ya saben, cualquier cosa pueden ustedes consultar en el chat grupal o escribirme directamente, ¿ok? Para poder aclarar cualquier duda. Si es cierto, a veces la plataforma no me acepta la respuesta. Podemos ver en qué estoy fallando, o si es la plataforma, ¿ok? Si es la plataforma que no me está reconociendo la respuesta correcta. Pero si ustedes no me indican, pues no voy a poder ayudarles. En el caso de Kelly, Kelly Magdalena también, la sección 3, solo la veo al 25%, necesita estar en el 80%, o el 100%. En la sección 3 también, Marvin, no sé si tuviste algún problema. Tenemos también eh, en la sección 3 solo el 75%. Los demás sí están sus secciones completas o arriba del 80%. ¿Ok? De la sección 4, aún tengo pendiente eh, a, a Milcar, a Carlos Manuel, eh, Bernardo, que solo tiene el 33% del avance. Eh, tengo a Carmen Guadalupe, igual, ya comenzó muy bien. Tenemos que también ya comenzó a completar Carmen Lisset. Bien, solo tratemos de llegar al 100% para el día de mañana. Eh, quien ya tiene completo también es Claudia Lisset y Delmi con el 100%, muy bien. Tenemos quien ya completó también, Irma, Jaime, José Samuel, Juliana. Catherine, Catherine Alicia, eh, 67%, aún nos queda completar algunos ejercicios. Eh, let me see. Katia, Katia, muy bien, ya lo tiene completo la sección número 4. Nereida también. Wendy del Carmen, aún nos queda completar varios ejercicios porque solo está el 33%. Yancy ya completó todas las actividades de la sección 4. Y Zaira, de igual manera, solo lleva el 33% ganado de la sección 4. Así que clase, sí me gustaría, tal vez, cuando yo vuelva a hacer la revisión de la plataforma nuevamente, eh, tal vez mañana antes de la clase, ver ya que todos hayan completado sus actividades, pongámonos a desarrollar las actividades, ya todo ese contenido lo hemos visto en clase. ¿okay? Todo lo hemos cubierto, incluso hemos desarrollado actividades en grupo, o actividades... Eh, que se parecen mucho a la actividad que se está evaluando en la plataforma. Todo para que, para que ustedes puedan aclarar sus dudas y completar. Entonces, clase, pregunto, ¿para cuándo es la sección número 4? Mañana antes de la clase. Ok, mañana antes de la clase. ¿Será que podemos hacerlo? Yes or no? Sí se puede. Sí se puede. Yes, we can. Or no, teacher, we cannot. Yes or no? Yes. No lo veo convencidos, no chicos. Vamos, recuerden que es un seguimiento que se está haciendo cada semana. Entonces, no quiero que digan mi grupo está atrasado, que todos los demás van adelantados. No, vamos siempre a tiempo. Así como lo hemos hecho hasta hoy, llevamos un buen avance, un buen progreso. ¿okay? Así que no nos quedemos atrás como grupo, que al final nos vengan a decir o que nos van a estar contactando y me van a estar preguntando, ¿Qué pasó con este estudiante? ¿O qué pasó? No les recuerda en la clase. No, créanme que también, en mi caso, o a todos los teachers, nos hacen un seguimiento también a diario incluso. ¿Qué pasa con tal estudiante? ¿Dónde está el recordatorio? Así que, igual, en las clases siempre les hacemos el recordatorio. Cámaras encendidas, participación, eh, y completar también las actividades de plataforma. Si sí es bueno que nos tomemos a veces este tiempo, cierto tiempo para recordar, ¿ok? Recordemos de que eh, ya estamos a punto de pasar un nivel más. Eh, si es bueno también que repasemos, no solo en la clase, que nos tomemos solo esta hora. No, el aprendizaje tiene que ser constante. Bien, clase, habiendo dicho esto, eh, le doy la bienvenida. Gracias por conectarse a tiempo. Muy puntuales. Eso dice que queremos aprender y que estamos dispuestos a ver un tema en la clase, un tema nuevo. Bien, aprovechemos. Let's check the attendance list. Veamos la asistencia de miércoles 30. Clase. Casi se nos acaba el mes de 
marzo se nos acaba, ya súper rápido se ha ido. So, eh, empecemos con la clase. Bernardo Antonio. Presentísimo. Hi, Bernardo. Carlos Manuel. Carlos Manuel Ramos. Let me check. Is Carlos Manuel in the class right now? Ah, there you are. Sí, veo que está fallando el micrófono, ¿verdad, Carlos? Bien, ok, pero ya, ya te vi. Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present teacher. Claudia Lisette López. Present teacher. Delmi Carolina Sosa. Present teacher. Emma Yamilet Corea. Gabriela Nicole Hueso. Present. Gerson Antonio Hernández. Me checked. Do I have Gerson in the class? I guess he's not. Ingrid Jamilet Arias. Present. Hi, Ingrid. Irma, Hi, Raquel. teacher. ¿Qué pasó ayer, Ingrid? Le avisé a la, sen a la señorita de inglés ah. corporativo que no iba a poder estar. Ah, ok. Ah, esa es otra cosa que eh, se me olvida decirles siempre, chicos, cualquier cosa, o me escriben directamente a mí o en el chat grupal. ¿Qué quiere esa prueba, teacher? Yo pedí permiso, solicité permiso. Di mi explicación por qué no pude estar en la clase, que no se vea como que yo no quise asistir, sino que sea siempre eh, con constancia. Ahí estoy, teacher. Yo notifiqué antes de la clase que no pude estar. Pero muy bien, Ingrid, muy bien. Eh, Irma Raquel García. Present. Jaime Osvaldo Cortés. Jaime. Where is it? I cannot see him. Okay. José Samuel Rodríguez. Present teacher. Juliana Bergeli Martínez. Present teacher. Karen Ivette Callejas. Present. Catherine Abigail García. Let me see. No. Catherine Alicia Martínez. Present. Katia Elizabeth Serrano. Present teacher. Kelly Magdalena Rivera. Present. Marina del Carmen Menéndez. Present. Marvin Raimundo Pinto. Present. Nereida Patricia González. Present. Stacy Nicole Rivera. Stacy, let me see. Do you see Stacy? Is she in the class? No, right? Help me out. No, yo no la veo. ¿Ustedes la ven? No, right? No, no la veo. Bien. Wendy de Carmen González. Present. Yancy Andrea Meléndez. Present, Miss. Zaira Jamilet Figueroa. Present. Great job. Los mencioné a todos. ¿Alguien que me haga falta? Creo que a todos les. Good evening, les... Good evening teacher. Hi, Gerson. I'm here. Ok, Gerson Antonio Hernández. Veamos dónde está Gerson. Exacto. Está uno. Bien. So I'm Ahora, just missing. Ahora sí ya arreglé el Ahora problema sí. con el micrófono. Excelente, Carlos Manuel. Entonces, Gracias. vamos a hacer participar bastante. Ah. <risa> Está bien, Ticho. No, Perfecto. don't worry, don't worry. No, chicos, gracias en serio por conectarse, estar a tiempo. It's time to start the class right now. Do you remember the topic from yesterday? What were we talking about yesterday? Or, or at least the last activity. ¿Cuál fue nuestra last activity yesterday? Estuvo muy interesante. Estar una conversación con el Emerson. Ah, ok. That was the first activity. And the last activity? The last one, la última. ¿Cuál fue? ¿Sí se acuerdan? 
What breakfast. do you have for breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, excellent. That was the conversation that we were having, breakfast. Now let me ask you, what did you have today for breakfast? ¿Qué tuvieron ahora o qué desayunaron ahora? Vamos, veamos. What did you have for breakfast? In my case, I ate pupusas. Le dije, I love pupusas, so I ate pupusas. And you? Háganme la lista, ¿qué comieron? Let's practice vocabulary. In my case, uh, I ate uh, beans, bread, Bread. Eggs and bananas, fried bananas. And bananas and fried bananas. Wow, uh -huh. delicious. Quite delicious. Muy bien, Katia. Who else? Me. Go, Yancy. In the breakfast, I ate beans. Um, take on me. <laughs> you don't remember? No, wait. Okay, okay. I ate potato and salad. <laughs> potato salad with onion. No. No. no, no, no. Potato and salad. Oh, okay, okay. Comí ensalada en la mañana. Increíble. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Fantastic. And, and ¿cómo se dice? Fumoso. Smooth. Smoothie. 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 Yeah. Smoothie. Un shake. Un batido. Yeah. Un shake. shake. Yeah. Shake. Okay. Banana shake. Yeah. Okay, banana shake. Batido, así como es el verbo, shake, de mezclar, shake. Acuérdense los licuados que le llamamos de guineo y leche, shake. Banana shake, okay. So that's what you have. Wow. To eat very healthy. Qué saludable, Yancy. Wow. Yeah. Imagínate a mí. Soy vegana. Oh, nice. She is a vegan girl. But that's nice, that's nice. ¿Alguien más que pegando aquí en el grupo? Yes, no? No, this one. <laughs> Can, I can't. You can't, right? How about you, Carmen Lisette? <laughs> Pupusas y coffee. Pupusas as well. So I'm sorry, Jancy, te quedamos <laughs> No, we cannot. No, no me cuido. <laughs> Créanme que cuesta bastante. Cuesta ah, más sí. cuando tenemos un trabajo, tenemos ah, sí, una pues. casa que ni, no, ah, ni les comento. Ustedes saben cómo nos toca ah. todos cada día. Cuesta bastante. Pero no, felicitamos a Yancy por, por, por ese por esfuerzo, ese esfuerzo, claro, por cuidarse. Ese debería ser el ejemplo para todos, pero cuesta. Créanme, cuesta. So, great job. That was the last topic. Bien, let me show you. Breakfast around the world. Great job. Ese era el vocabulary. ¿Se acuerdan del vocabulary? Pastries. What is the meaning of past pastries? This one. Sweet bread. No, no. Sweet bread. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Pickles. Pickles. Esta. Pickles. Pepinillos. Pepinillos. Muy bien. En bananas. ¿A qué le llamamos bananas? Yes. A los plátanos. Bien, plátanos. Plátanos, exactly. So, let's find out. We are still in section four. Broccoli is good for you. For today, we have adverse of frequency. Okay? Imagine, this is session 11. Sesión 11 de 16. Ya casi terminamos. And this is my name. Okay? So, let's find out. This is what we are going to have right now, but first, let's go and check the video. Siempre chequeamos la plataforma, ¿qué podemos descubrir ahí? Here we go. Okay, let me share my screen. Aquí vamos, chicos. This is yours. Yes, módulo 2. Aquí vamos. Let's go and check section number 4. Broccoli is good for you. En esta sección solo tenemos tres, tres ejercicios de chequeo, okay? So broccoli is good for you. This is the first video. This is the one for today. Adverse of frequency. Did you watch the video already? ¿Ya vimos el video? ¿Sí o no? Yes or no? 
No. Aquí no, no, right? Aquí no, y en la casa. Tampoco. Yeah. Yes, okay. La <laughs> okay, en la clase. Bien, vamos. Si no, let's watch the video. Okay, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll... Wait, 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 wait. learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Yeah. Let's get started by okay. analyzing yeah. the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100% usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Okay, so take a look at those examples, percentages. Es mucho más fácil si nosotros ponemos porcentajes, always, adverbs of frequency, always. It means that is something or an action that we do always, all the time. Usually, 80% of the time. Often, 70% of the time. Sometimes, yes, yeah, but not 50% of the time. Hardly ever, uh, I don't really do it. Hardly ever, 25% and never is zero. I never do this, okay? So don't forget these percentages. No olviden esos porcentajes, please. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. 
the subject is I, the adverb of frequency is sometimes, the verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast, with the adverb of frequency sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject, you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb, have. Finally, we need to add a complement, fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do sometimes I do no I never do now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own I would like for you to think about food particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast lunch and dinner and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. For breakfast, okay. I never. I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Great, so let's go back. So if you notice, we are going to continue using the vocabulary. Vocabulary related to food. Maybe this was a little bit longer. Fue un poco largo el video, pero es interesante verlo. Va a servir mucho, okay? Adverse of frequency. Which ones do you remember? ¿Cuáles recuerdan? Let's see. Always. Always. Usually. Usually. usually never. Never. Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Always. Okay. And do you Again. remember the percentages? Los porcentajes, ¿quién se acuerda? Always, Always 10%. Always 100%. Never, 0%. <laughs> Never 0%. Always, usually, often. Usually is 80%. 80%, okay, very good. So let me show you. Ever. Often, 25%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever, 25%. But this is the same chart. El mismo cuadro que tenemos. Always, usually, often. often. Listen, we don't pronounce the T. T sound, uh-uh. We are going to 
put it like this, often, often. Can you repeat, please? Often. Often. Always. Okay. Oh, usually. Often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Never. Never. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. And again, sometimes. So, yes, we have the percentages. 100%. 0%, 100% al 0%. So, he was asking you a question. Do you take a shower every day? Yes, always. Do you take a shower every day? Yes, yes or I no? Do. I yes, I do. do. Yes. I, yes, wait, I, do. I don't like green. Let's choose red. Subject, I. Average frequency, of course, always. Aunque llueva y haga frío. Yes, teacher. Always, all the time. Aunque está lloviendo en la mañana y quiera salir corriendo rápido al trabajo. Yes, always. I always, ¿cuál sería el verbo? Take. Take. ¿El complemento? A, a shower. Shower. Look. Period at the end. I always take a shower. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. It is quite easy to use, okay? Quite easy to use. So let's go to my whiteboard. Okay. Let's write some other examples here. I always take a shower every day let me ask you do you ah, and if you notice look we are also using simple present se acuerdan cuál es el simple present yes or no yeah. so yo les digo simple present do and does mm -hmm. sería do I, um, wait it's not writing qué pasa ahí está i do Si quieren acordarse rápido, tomémoslo así como clave. El do, 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 do. Do and does. Simple present. Siempre seguimos con simple present. So, do. Do you, because this question is for you. Do you drink coffee? Do you drink coffee? Um, let's see every day every day because there's people who said I cannot live without coffee. Hay algunos que dicen no puedo vivir sin café, okay? So how about you? Do you drink coffee every day from Monday to Sunday? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes, I do. Muy buena respuesta. I take. So I so always, never, sometimes, usually. Okay, always. I always. What is the verb? Drink. 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 Exactly. Subject, advert of frequency, and verb. I always drink. Compliment. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Or. De qué otra forma podemos responder? Look, if I am asking you with full present, I'm asking you with simple present, short form. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Simple as that. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. Do you drink coffee? Yes, I do, or I always drink coffee, okay? But in this case, we are going to practice this, this type of answers using adverbs of frequency, adverbs of frequency, okay? So let's go back to the presentation so we can find out about the rules. Look, so I always, eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often 
eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast and I never eat breakfast. Tell me about you. Do you have or do you eat breakfast every day? Yes or no? Yes, I do. I always eat breakfast in the morning. No, in the case of Jancy, I always. How about Samuel? I always. Okay, great. I always. I always eat breakfast. Very good. Marina, and you? Ah, do you always have breakfast for or every day? Do you always eat breakfast? So in your case is always. I always eat breakfast. Yes, I always eat breakfast. Okay, great. How about, uh, let me see who's next. Katia, tell me about you, Katia. I usually. You usually eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Tell me, you eat breakfast. Do you always eat breakfast? Do you usually eat breakfast? Do you often eat breakfast? Tell me your information. Do you eat breakfast? Uh -huh. So you, dime, dígame sobre su información. Sería always, usually, often. Eh, always. ¿Cómo se, no sé la pronunciación. Algo, always. Or, always. Always. Okay, so, digamos la completa. I always eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast. Bien, Carlos Manuel, and you? Yes, I always eat breakfast. Okay, always. Very good. How about Zaira? Eat breakfast. ¿Qué tan frecuente desayunamos? ¿O todos los días desayunamos o no? Veamos. Tell me your information. Zaira. Uh, uh, yes, I sometimes eat breakfast. I sometimes. Okay, so let's see. What is the meaning of always? ¿Qué significaría entonces always? Siempre. 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 Sin excepción alguna. Ok. 100%. Always. Siempre. Es algo que siempre hago. I take a shower. I brush my feet. Ok. ¿Qué más hacemos siempre? I go sleep. to work. I sleep, of course. Yes, right. Eso no, no, no lo dejamos afuera. <laughs> so, always, all the time. No hay excepción. Always. 100%. Algo que siempre hago. Deme más ejemplos. Siempre, all the time. 100%. ¿Qué más hacemos? Get dressed. Get dressed. Muy bien, of course. Get dressed. Yes, tell me. I drink water. Yeah, drink. Oh, okay. Drink water. Mm, in my case, maybe it's not all the time. I sometimes forget, you know. Oh, yes. yes, but I forget to drink a lot of water. That is that is not good. Eso no es tan bueno, okay? So let me give you examples and you tell me. Ustedes me dicen qué porcentaje lo hacen. Recordemos los porcentajes always. Era un? Usually. Usually. 80%. I'm sorry? 80%. Excellent. 80%. 80%. That's what I want to listen, not 80. 80. English, 80%. So let's put it right here, 80. Often. 70. 70. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70%. 70
Yo les menciono actividades y ustedes me dicen always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Bien, let's see. Watch TV. Watch TV. I never. Never. Hardly ever. I hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. Check your cell phone. Always. 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 <laughs> Always. We don't Usually. watch TV, but we check the cell phone every day. Next, uh, drink water. Drink water. Always. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Um, sleep eight hours. Dormir ocho horas. Sleep eight hours. Never. Always. 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 Different opinions. Different opinions. Never. Hardly ever. Who we'll say always. always? Wow. Always. Imagine. Usually. usually, right? Because no, of me paso. Because of homework. So, uh, sleep 10 hours. 10 hours. Yeah. Never. 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 <laughs> Never. No, I cannot sleep 10 hours. Never. No, I don't. I cannot. Let me see another one. Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Never. Never. Okay. Watch YouTube. Usually. Sometimes. Usually. Sometimes. 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 Never. Often. Never often. Okay. Often. Practice your English. Always. Sometimes. Always. I like it. Eso es seguridad. Yeah. Always, teacher. Of course. Always. All the time. Okay. Save money. Guardar dinero. Save money. Never. 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 Sometimes. You don't save money. Sometimes. 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 Okay. Ya me acabo los ahorros. Yes, right. No duran. No duran. Exercise. To exercise. Never. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Always. Wow. Sometimes. Offense, okay, very good. Eat healthy. Comer saludable, eat healthy. Yo ya no contesto. <laughs> Never, dice, no hay otra categoría. Usually. <laughs> okay, 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 so. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. usually. Okay, it's so expensive. I, yeah, it's expensive. It is. It is. Más cara la carne, así que. Mm. Yes, right. No, but it's expensive, Jancy. It's expensive. Yeah. You will see. En algún par de años vas a ver, Jancy. Okay, no, but don't worry. Excellent. Continúa así, Jancy. Congratulations. So, sometimes, never, I hardly ever. So, we need to write. Vamos a escribir esas oraciones. Para que nos quede clara la estructura. I always drink coffee. Veamos. Sleep all time. ¿Qué si estamos hablando de una tercera persona? He or she. He or she. Veamos. Here we go. Usamos das. Exactly. Usamos das. Porque ese es el simple present. Question. Does she. Does she. Sleep. sleep. Eight hours. Oh, great. Estamos en la misma sintonía. Does she sleep eight hours? Necesitamos agregarle S aquí. Yes or no? No. Why? No. Para el verbo. Because, Because of the auxiliary. Esa sería su respuesta. Si tengo un auxiliar, el auxiliar no me deja modificar el verbo. So, no. Does she sleep eight hours? Ah, but for the reply, ¿qué si necesitamos? Miren. Vamos con la oración completa. Sería she affirmative. Sleeps. Sleeps. 
eight hours. Eight hour. hours. Negative. She, she doesn't. She doesn't sleep eight hours. Sleep eight hours. Eight hours. 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 Excellent. Period and adjective. And short, short answer. Vamos con la respuesta corta. Affirmative. Yes, yes she, she does. does. She, she does. She does. Does cry. Porque si estoy preguntando con does, mi respuesta va a ser con does. Yes, she does. Punto al final. Negative. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. No, she doesn't sleep in hours. Or she doesn't. I can stop it. Does not or doesn't, okay? So you see, if we are talking about personal information, I always drink coffee. You always drink coffee? We always drink coffee or they always drink coffee. Para he, she, and he, siempre nos abarca la regla. She sleeps eight hours or he sleeps eight hours. So let's go to the practice. Vamos a la práctica, okay? Let's go to the practice. In the platform, we have an exercise that is similar to this one. So it's, no, it's not gonna be difficult to complete this one. So look, let's make sentences right now. I have always, usually, often, sometimes, and hardly ever. And I want you to pay close attention to this one. The only auxiliary or adverb of frequency, I'm sorry, that is going to be at the beginning or that we can use at the beginning is sometime. This is el único que nosotros podemos usar al inicio de la oración. We can say this one. I sometimes sometimes eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast, okay? O puede decir, ¿de qué otra manera? ¿Qué otra, qué otra fórmula arreglamos? Sometimes, sometimes I eat breakfast. But it's the only one, okay? Podemos decir entonces, veamos, never I eat breakfast. No. 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 Usually I eat breakfast. No. 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 Okay. Hardly ever I eat breakfast. No. 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 Sometimes I eat breakfast. In my case, I use it at the beginning. Hay una tendencia de usarlo casi siempre al inicio. I don't know why. But sometimes I eat breakfast. You know, sometimes I don't. I don't because I don't have enough time. So, questions about this topic. How do you feel this topic? Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. But don't know easy, me, right? Tell me. Porque solo sometimes. That's English. <laughs> That's English. I don't have any other reply. I don't know. That's a rule. Esas son las reglas. Okay, reglas del inglés y... Pues debe haber una respuesta más específica, ¿verdad? So, Chancy, let me look for it. Sin That's importar de la persona que se esté hablando, también. Doesn't matter. No importa. It can y puede be, ir al final también, ¿verdad? At the end as well. It can be sometimes she sleeps eight hours. She sleeps eight hours. O con cualquier sujeto, ¿ok? I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. That's okay. Muy buena pregunta. Any other question? Preguntas, chicos. Al final no, ¿verdad? I'm sorry. Al final no se puede ocupar. Yes, we can. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. Yes, claro que sí se puede. O como al final. O sea, al final de la oración. Ah, no, no, no. Solo seguimos la regla de sujeto, 
adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. I sometimes, solo después del sujeto o, hacemos lo opuesto. Sometimes I, sometimes she, solo en esos dos casos. ¿Ok, Jancy? ¿Ok? Sí. Uh -huh. yeah. Tell me. Eh, yo me quedé con una duda. Uh -huh. En el ejemplo de Does she sleep eight hours? Eh, en respuesta eh, se colocó She sleep eight hours. Eh, pero no se puede usar She always sleep eight hours. Yes, claro. Uh, recuerden que estábamos respondiendo con el simple present. Claro, en este caso quizás sí. Eh, fue mi error no incluir el adverb of frequency. Pero sí, 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 sí. Muy bien, Marvin. Aunque igual, este, porque es lo que estamos practicando. Pero sí puede ser, she always sleeps eight hours. O, en okay. simple present, she sleeps eight hours. Okay? Y, Bien, Marvin. Y el verbo sleep, Gracias. en ese caso, siempre se hubiera puesto la S al final. En la respuesta, sí. ¿Por qué clase? Why? Porque es positivo. Y porque Aunque se esté. Ajá. Because it's sí, affirmative and it's with third person. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Eso Aunque me se esté utilizando el adverbio de frecuencia. Claro, siempre. El uh -huh. adverbio no eh, modifica nada. Aquí, Marvin, eso me gusta. Sería always. Aquí vamos a agregarle always. She always. Bien. Thank you. You're paying attention. Muy bien, clase. She always sleeps. Thank you, teacher. Sleeps. Porque es afirmativo, tercera persona. Y estamos siempre usando simple present. Ok, class? Simple present text. Any other question or comment that we have? Preguntas, comments? No, right? So, can we go to the practice right now? ¿Podemos ir a la práctica to the breakup rooms? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. look what we have. We have a conversation between two people. Mm, no tienen nombre, solo A and B. A and B, A and B and A. Persona A and persona B. So it's a conversation that is missing the adverse of frequency. As you can see, we have the adverse of frequency. In parentheses, you are going to complete the conversation, placing the adverse of frequency at the end in the sentence, okay? Van a tratar de poner en el orden correcto el adverse of frequency. Look at the first example. Tenemos where do you have lunch? Esa sería una pregunta común para el simple present. Where do you have lunch? Pero si queremos agregarle un alter of frequency o agregarle frecuencia, ¿qué decimos? Where do you usually, usually, usually uh, where do you usually? ¿Estamos siguiendo la misma regla? Yes. Where do you usually have lunch? We have you, that is the subject, and then we have the alter of frequency. So how am I going to know where am I going to place? ¿Cómo sé dónde voy a poner el adverb of frequency? De acuerdo a la regla es después de el sujeto el o subject. el verbo. El sujeto y antes solo el sujeto y, y antes de and before the verb. Between. Between the subject and the verb. There is your the place that you're going to write the advert of frequency. So we have, where do you have lunch? I go to a restaurant near work. Let me see. Voy por acá. Do you eat at your desk? No, I stay in for lunch. And what do you have? I have soup or a salad. Me too, I have a big lunch, okay? So let me see. 
I guess we don't have time for breakout rooms. So let's complete it together. Complete them juntos. Let me see. And I need some volunteers. We also, yes. Tenemos pocos minutos. Classic. I need one, two, three, four, five, six volunteers right now. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. So I have seven volunteers. Okay, excellent class. That's the attitude to participate. Very good. So number one is done for you. Where you have lunch? Where do you usually have lunch? Let's go with number two, or in this case, letter B. Jancy, you're the next one. Puedo ver a Jancy ahorita. Go, Jancy. Okay. I often go to a restaurant near work. Class, is that okay? Or do you have any corrections? Okay. Can you repeat that, please, Jancy? I often go to a restaurant near work. I, that is the subject. Often, very cute. Often, it's correct. Go to a restaurant. A restaurant near work. Okay, near who's work. next? Let me see. I have Marvin. Marvin lo tengo como siguiente. Go, Marvin. It's a do question. You, do you ever eat at your desk? Do, then we have the subject, ever. Excellent job. Do you ever eat at your desk? It's correct. Carlos Manuel, go ahead, please. No, I hardly ever stay in for lunch. Very good job. No, I, tengo el sujeto. Other of frequency, hardly ever. Stay in for lunch. Okay, who's next? Jose Samuel. And what do you usually have? Very good job. This is a question. And what, what? do you usually have very good job for the sujeto usually what do you usually have very good marina help me out and then katia like i always have soup soup or salad uh -huh. Soup or salad. Very good. And Katia. Me too. I never have a big lunch. Excellent. Me too. too. I never have, have a big, a big lunch. lunch. Okay. Very good. So let's see. Let's write. I mean, let's practice. Practiquemos ahora con los adverbs of frequency. We still have some minutes. Yes, we still have minutes, four minutes. So let's listen to the sentences, but now using adverbs of frequency. Tell me, number one, number one. This one, tell me. Hola, no, no le entendí que es lo que me... Solo vamos a leer, ok, solo vamos a leer los ejemplos, uh -huh. pero ahora usando adverse of frequency, vamos, Delmi. Esta, this one. Where do you usually have a lunch? Bien, great pronunciation. Let me see, I need to eh, have Nereida then Carmen Guadalupe, and then Ingrid. Go girls, you can do it. I often go to restaurants near work. Ah, era a restaurant. Carmen. Do you ever eat at your desk? Mm -hmm. Do you ever 
eat at your desk? Ingrid. No, I hardly ever stay in for lunch. Very good. Let me see who's next. Herson, Gabriela Nicole, and then Irma. And what do you usually have? Very good, Gabriela. I always have some or salad. Very good, Irma. The last one, please. Me too. I never have a big lunch. Very good. Let's start again. Karen Yvette, this one. The first one is for you. Where do you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Where do you? You usually have a lunch. Very good. Uh, then I have Juliana and Catherine Abigail. Go girls. Juliana, this one. I often go to restaurant new work. Excellent. Continue, Catherine. Do you ever eat at your desk? Wow, great pronunciation. Let me see. Bernardo, continue, please. No, I hardly ever staying for lunch. Okay, excellent. Who's next? Help me out again, Carlos Manuel. This one. Uh, and what do you usually have? What do you usually have? Uh, one more time, Jose Samuel, please. I always have soup or salad. Okay. And Claudia. Me too. I never have a big lunch. A big lunch. Very good. And the last one, Zaira, please. Where do you usually I have lunch? Where do you usually have lunch? So, class. Hagamos el repaso. ¿Cuál es la fórmula o los pasos que hay que seguir para formar oraciones, affirmative sentences, using adverbs of frequency? Veamos y recordamos. Go. Subject. First subject. Class. Adverb of frequency. Complement. Complement. Great. What if I want to make a question? Auxiliary do or does. Subject. Subject. Adverb of frequency. Yes. Very complimentary. Question mark. In question mark. Very good job. ¿Cómo sienten este ejercicio de la clase? ¿Estamos listos para completar la plataforma del ejercicio? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right? So. We are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining today. Let's meet tomorrow, Thursday, okay? So, thank you, class. Class is for a teacher. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night to you. Thank you. You're welcome.